Hi guys, Max from Highlander.com, where we get Hi, Highlander every day. Anyway, it's that time of the week, ROM of the week, let's try this. Today is the Galaxy S4. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, for those of you who want to upgrade your Galaxy S4, um, you can go ahead and grab the latest Lineage OS ROM 15.1. Now this is a beta version. I'll cover all the stuff that's not working, that's working. Um, you can still use it as daily driver. I've been actually testing it for um, almost two weeks now. Uh, as far as the most stable um, ROM, you may want to go with um, actually Android 6.0 Marshmallow, all right? I'll have an update on that, but uh, also Android 7.0 Nougat ROMs have pretty much the same issues as the 8.0 or 8.1 sorry oreo and this one actually has um, a lot of it working so if you're going to install nougat just install oreo instead all right but you'll see that oreo um performance is very good battery life seems to be very very good so far voice has been working flawless i've tested on several different models this is the t-mobile i've also just tested on the international gti 9505 it is supported for gti 9505 gti 9505 g gti 9507 gti 9508 if you have at&t or verizon with an unlock bootloader that you should have unlocked back with Android 4.4.4. Um, for AT&T and Verizon, you can also install it if you already have an unlock bootloader. If you don't know what that means and you're already past 4.4.4, um, you're out of luck for installing on AT&T and Verizon. Also, you can obviously install on the T-Mobile, which I've got installed here, Sprint, also US Cellular, all right, go ahead and check my website for the, all the models listed. Installation is pretty much exactly the same except for AT&T and Verizon. Um, for Sprint models, I do recommend installing the latest stock Lollipop and also updating um, your, I think, um, the RIL for Sprint bands and then install it. Make sure on Sprint your data is working before installing it. All right, on stock ROM. As far as the ROM, you will get the latest Android 8.1 uh, with all the standard features. As far as customizations, um, you can go ahead and add enable on-screen navbar like I did. I'm so used to off-screen buttons and this really helps me um, use it. This will also disable um, your buttons here so you don't actually press it. Your home button will still work though. Um, you can also customize the hardware buttons or the soft buttons um, with the long press torch if you want. Volume button, customization. There's some status bar stuff you can do. Brightness lighter, uh, auto brightness, brightness control, um, gestures. Uh, as far as root goes, if you enable developer options, um, it does come with root and you can go ahead and enable um, root for apps and ADB, all right? Now, this has been crossed out because if you want to hide root, then you can also install Magisk root, uh, which I have here. And this allows me to run uh, apps that check for root, such as Nintendo game apps, such as Pokemon Go, or you can even run um, Google Pay, which is very, very nice. As far as camera, um, you have to install Foot EJ Camera off the Play Store, and once you install it, um, everything works flawless. All right, um, you get um, full 1080p videos. Um, still, camera works just fine, as you can see here. And I think, oh well, the, the front camera is a little bit um, pixelated, but the front camera still camera works. Oh, maybe it is broken. Sorry. So selfies may be broken. All right, sorry, I just found that out. So front camera. It's been an issue with Nougat and Oreo ROMs, even Nougat, like the front camera just doesn't work, all right? So if you take a lot of selfies, I guess that's gonna be an issue, you, you know. Um, also, Bluetooth works great. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Um, one of the new features, of course, with Android Oreo is that you can go ahead and do a long press on apps and you get different apps. For example, Pandora, you'll be able to go straight into um, Cypress Hill or your favorite music. All right, it will auto automatically pop up for you. There we go. I've got uh, Bluetooth playing on my Bluetooth device. And coolest part about Android Oreo, um, you will be able to see how much battery you have left on any of your uh, Bluetooth devices. Now with Bluetooth calls, uh, Bluetooth calls do not work. They're all 
you know, they are very noisy and stuff. So if you use your Bluetooth device to make calls and this is your daily driver, you may want to stick with like a marshmallow ROM uh, or maybe even stock. All right, Bluetooth calls just do not work. That's a bug that's in general with all the lineage ROMs, not just this phone. Until they fix the issue, we'll just have to wait. So that's another issue um, you will have to get through. Other than that, I found that everything working. As far as GPS, you may have to get the GPS Fix app. Once you, you download it and fix your GPS, GPS works flawless. Uh, for Google Maps. So get the GPS Fix GPS Test Compass app by End Dev. All right, open this app and simply hit the Fix GPS button once. And after that, your GPS will work flawless if you have any problems with it. All right, it might just work out of the box. Battery life is very excellent, um, very good speeds. Uh, as far as performance, I think performance is a lot better. Performance, um, I did get on N22, I got a score of 33,872, almost 35,000, so very good scores. As long as all the bugs that I mentioned is not an issue for you, um, you should be good to go and you should be able to use this ROM. And there is also on, always on screen that will give you notifications. I'm not getting any notifications, so I can't show you. Also, 4G LT works um, flawless. As you can see, I'm getting very good LT signals. Other than that, this is a great way to upgrade your old Galaxy S4 to the latest Android Oreo so long as you don't mind those things not working yet. And once those things work, I will have a full update on um, a stable version. Right now, this is like the beta third version. Um, there are stuff that the developer included, such as Toolbox, that will allow you to do additional stuff. S Tweaks app, um, if you want to overclock your phone, you, sh you, sh you will also be able to do that. That's kind of nice, but it's a pretty nice ROM. I've tested it for almost two weeks now. So let me go ahead and show you how to install it. All right, let me go ahead and show you how to install it on my GTI 9505. Before you begin installing a custom ROM like this, if you're on stock firmware, all right, if you never rooted your phone or never installed a custom ROM, it's gonna erase everything, all right? You can go ahead and use Torp Recovery to back up your ROM, which I'll show you, but I do recommend backing up everything before you begin because you'll have to start over because it's just installing a new software. It's completely different from Samsung. Um, So the first thing you're gonna do, um, power off your phone and um, turn off any like factory lock or anything like that before you do. Um, turn off everything. Even turn off your screen uh, lock protection if you wanna make a backup of your stock firmware. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and hold down volume down, volume down, center home, hold it down, and then the power button. All right, and you'll see a warning screen, let go of all the buttons, hit the volume up key. All right, you're gonna go ahead and connect to a um, Windows computer. If you don't have one, just borrow one from your friend, from your nerdy friend. Go to my site, galaxys4root.com. I'll have a link to this, and you'll find Android 8.1 Oreo Plus Root for Galaxy S4, Lineage OS ROM 15.1. Um, go here, go all the way down to the bottom where it says um, model supported. Go ahead and check that your model is supported. Now, these um, for installing Torp Recovery, it is for uh, anything else but AT&T and Verizon. If you have AT&T and Verizon, whatever recovery came with it, um, you'll have to use that, all right? Do not update Twerp. But for everybody else, um, you'll need to download um, Twerp, Odin, Samsung USB drivers, and also the Lineage OS ROM. This is for all the models here. Um, Android 8.1G apps, Magis 16.0 and 16.3. Now, the reason why you have to download both and flash both, with 16.0, there's a bug where it will not hide root from apps like Pokemon Go or Google Pay. Um, so you have to flash 16.3 after flashing 16.0 in order to get it working. If you flash 16.3 only, <laughs> Magisk will not install. All right, some kind of bug. But if you install both, you'll be fine. So download all six files, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, sorry, seven. Um, the download link is really easy. Um, just on the download site, go to the bottom and wait five seconds and it will say click here to download. All right, don't click on the ads, just click here to download. And that will start downloading. All right, I'm gonna cancel it because I've downloaded all the files. All right, as far as twerp, um, you will wanna download the latest twerp. So go to twerp.me, which will take you, and go ahead and type Galaxy S4, 
and go ahead and choose um, your Galaxy S4. For, for this tutorial, I'm using a GTI 9505. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And you're gonna go ahead and go to the download links here and download um, the latest primary from Americas or Europe if you're in Europe. Um, it don't really matter. Uh, and go ahead and download the latest file ending in img.tar. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download twerp on jfltxx.img.tar. All right, go ahead and download that. And I should have uh, one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven files just like that. All right, um, next what you're gonna do is go ahead and um, double click on here and extract all files. This will give you a folder called odin3 underscore v3.13.1. Go ahead and double click on the odin exe program. Go ahead and hit open. And you should see this blue highlighted um, com box. If you don't see this, you don't have the proper drivers installed. So go ahead and go back to your downloads folder and run the Samsung USB driver exe program. All right, run that program. After it's done, go ahead and unplug and plug your USB back in. You will see this blue highlighted uh, box. All right, next go ahead and choose uh, AP. And you're gonna go ahead and go to your download folder and choose the twerp 3.2.1.0 JFLTE. All right, you're gonna hit open, and, and as soon as it's done flashing, your phone will turn off, the screen will turn off. Um, before that, you're gonna hold down volume up, center home, and as soon as the screen goes off, then you're gonna hold down the power. So hold down volume up for now. I'm gonna hit start, and I'm gonna hit the center button. When the screen goes off, I'm gonna hold down the power button. So volume up, center home, and power. All right, and you'll see recovery booting, then you can let go of all the buttons. All right, this will boot you into Torp recovery and boom shakalaka. All right, you should be here. And next, really easy, you're gonna go back to um, your downloads folder and you're gonna copy over uh, the ROM file, the G apps, all right? And if you need to install Majisk, also you're gonna go ahead and copy over. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, just copy over all four files. So you'll be able to install Majisk 2 and hide root. Copy, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy into the download folder or anywhere. I'm just gonna paste it into the download folder. Okay, once that's done, um, you do not need the USB cable. Now, here, you can go ahead and back up backup of your uh, stock firmware, all right? It's gonna save all your apps, app settings. It's not gonna save contents of your internal storage, but you can back up your apps and settings. You can go to backup and swipe to backup. Now, this backup size might be big, and if you don't have enough storage, you can go ahead and use a micro SD card, all right? Or you can use a USB OTG cable and use a flash flash drive. Um, I'm not going to back it up. I don't really care. Um, also, you don't have to back it up if you're never going to need it. Um, but you can go ahead and back it up and later on you can reboot into Torp and restore your ROM and you'll be good to go. Also, when backing up with Torp Recovery, make sure your screen lock is off. That's why I told you before I began this, turn off your screen lock because when you restore it, uh, it might mess it up. All right, once you have backed up everything, um, next you're going to go to wipe and wipe to factory reset. This will erase your apps and app settings. It's gonna not erase anything, the contents uh, of your internal storage or micro SD card. Hit the home button, install, and you're gonna go ahead and choose the ROM file, which is the optimized Linux OS um, zip. And you're gonna go to add more zips, choose the mind the G apps. This is the G apps for it. All right, next go to add more zips. Go ahead and choose Majisk 16.0, all right? And you're gonna go to add more zips. Um, you're gonna choose Majisk 16.3. All right, that's all the files you're gonna flash. Um, wait for it and let it flash and you should be good to go. All right, once that's done, go ahead and reboot. All right guys, once rebooted, um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Just hit the home button after the lineage. Sometimes it restarts. Ah, there you go. Uh, once you got here, you should be ready to go. You should be on um, the latest, let, let me connect Wi-Fi real quick. Um, you should be on the latest Android 8.1. 
right? 8.1.0. Congratulations. And also you should have Majestic Manager working flawless. All right, um, you should see this. If you don't see latest version and installed version, just reboot once and you will see it. And after that, you could do a safety net check. And once it passes, it means it's hiding root. Um, also, this will hide root from like Google Pay or any apps that check for root. Um, you can also hide root from individual apps. You can go here, any apps that's not automatically hiding root, you can go ahead and check it and hide root. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you should be on latest Android 8.1. Additional steps you can do, um, you can probably install like a Android P launcher. Um, I'll have links to it on my website if you want to download that and install it. Um, any other stuff you want to do. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It took me a long time to test these out, so please hit the thumbs up. Um, to also make this tutorial. Definitely, I'm gonna keep using them and we'll have an update. As far as uh, the TV app, you can go ahead and um, download the Peel app to use the IR sensor. Have a great day and as always, stay home on Android. Click here to subscribe.